Here we go. All right. So yeah, I'm talking about Showcase. This is a library we use at FanDuel to basically showcase our Compose views. And I, I just put this slide together like right before this meeting. So I, I already see a typo here. It's actually Showcase with a K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're using Compose at FanDuel, which is awesome. It's simple, reusable, it's fast, declarative. It's awesome. Uh, but that kind of gives us some problems at the same time. So now we are kind of getting to a point where we have components everywhere. We're getting duplicates and inconsistencies between different screens with Compose and design collaboration is kind of painful, uh, like mapping different values to, to Compose and inconsistencies there as well. Uh, and nobody knows like what components we have because we have eight developers making components. So maybe one developer made a button and other developers don't know about it. Uh, so how does web solve this problem? Uh, web uses something called Storybook. It's popular in, in React applications. Uh, this is what it looks like. I just found this one. Uh, this is actually Twilio, I think, has a public storybook. And um, so you can click through, like, here's one of their dialogues. If we find button, we can see their UI buttons, like a link button here. So it's basically like a component library of uh, all of the UI components that are available. Um, you can see examples of buttons and, and all kinds of things. So that's what web does. Uh, let's look at the now and Android app, which I've preloaded on my device here. So now and Android is it's a pretty cool app that the Android team published that showcases some ways to use like compose and, and best practices best architecture recommendations and things like that. So the way they solved this problem is they actually built out their own hand-rolled catalog of different views in the app. And they have a different launcher. So you can see there's, there's two launchers here. One is the real app. Let me kill it, reopen it. This is their real app here. Then they make another launcher that is their UI component catalog. So you can look at all their buttons and uh, see like click states and, and what is available. Um, this is about a 700 line file that they have in their app that just basically dumps out all of their components into a lazy column, uh, which is great, but it's, it's missing quite a bit and it's a lot of overhead work. So let's move on and talk about Showcase, which is spelled right on this slide. Uh, this is definition straight from Showcase. It's an annotation processor-based Android library that helps organize, discover, search, and visualize, visualize uh, Jetpack Compose elements. Uh, so that's exactly what it does. We pull up their GitHub here. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like. It uh, basically is a library of all the components and text and colors and everything. Uh, I'm gonna skip the setup and move on to the next one. So now an Android app with Showcase, I actually went in and added Showcase to the to now an Android app. So if we open the full app, what I did was just hacked in an extra button down here in the bottom right and that actually launches Showcase. So by putting Showcase in, they just, uh, they this is all generated UI. So they give you a generated activity that you can launch that shows um, all of your composables in here. Uh, we'll start by looking at typography here. So this is all of the different typography styles that are in the Now and Android app. You can see the way that they, they actually look on a device here. Uh, it's really useful for like collaborating with design and making sure that you are 
implementing what they tell you to. And uh, we'll move on to colors. These are all of the colors that are available in the Now and Android app. Uh, same kind of thing. It's nice for collaborating with design. And we'll go back to components, which I think is the most valuable. Um, they didn't have a ton of like previews in the Now and Android app, so I, I added one. This is a button, so you can you can go into the button and see the like normal state, disabled state, and also like what it would look like if they supported dark mode, right to left, and different scaling. And also the the click event shows up here. So basically every every preview, if you're familiar with Compose, you can annotate your composables with previews and it will actually spit out that preview in your editor and let you see what your composable is going to look like. Showcase works based off of that. So anything that you can preview, you can show and compose. And it's a, a really useful tool for like collaboration. You can see this one does support dark mode. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually jump back to the setup here. The setup is super easy. You just have to add, depend on showcase and each module where you have UI that you want to preview. And uh, then by default, everything you annotate with preview, which you should be doing already if you're developing Compose so you can actually see it when you're working on it. Uh, showcase actually picks those up and builds them into the showcase library. Um, so that'll happen automatically with preview. With colors, it's a little bit different. You have to actually annotate your colors with showcase color and typography with showcase typography. And then the last thing you have to do is you just have to put a showcase root module in your root module. And then all of this just works out of the box. What's the root module? Um, it's just telling showcase like which one is the root. So like app in most Android uh, projects, you would actual root. Yeah. 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 And then here's the, the activity I was talking about that it, it uh, generates for you. So showcase at FanDuel. I'll just uh, show what it looks like real quick for us. So in FanDuel, we actually drop a showcase link in our debug drawer here. And uh, you can go into our components. Uh, we're pretty new with Compose. We have a few screens in it and are building out some features with it. Uh, but for example, we have a, a single game TV module on our lobby. So if you click into that, you can actually see what that's gonna look like. It's got all, all mocked data in there. And you can click into this just the same and see like uh, right to left what it would look like and scaled. And then uh, there are some gotchas with it. One of them being that everything that you have to have in showcase has to be public, which is why you see zero for colors in typography for us. We did have all of that in there, but we were finding uh, devs were kind of taking shortcuts and directly accessing those colors rather than going through our theme. So we ended up not showing colors in typography for now. It's one shortcoming. But yeah, that's all I got. Any questions? Yeah, that's so cool, dude. It's so it's just you just add the app preview and then showcase like finds everything. Yeah, that's so nice. Uh, and also, so I guess my question is, um, we are fixing it.
Okay, try reading. So I guess my question is how production ready is Compose, I guess, especially compared to Swifty Wisemess? Yeah, uh, Compose is stable. There's now, I think it's on like 1.2 now. So uh, it's production ready. We're using it in production. Uh, having said that, Showcase is still in alpha, I believe, and Airbnb, the writers of Showcase are still working on it. But uh, I, I think show, uh, Compose is definitely ready for production on the Android side. It's, it's really nice that it's kind of decoupled from the OS. So old versions of Android can use the latest version of Compose, which I think is really cool. Oh, that's nice to hear. Hey, for the right to the left, is that automatic or like those uh, attributes? Do you have to add those? Yeah, that's that's all automatic. Showcase um, like modifies those those to be right to left somehow. I think it's actually in compose and previews. You can tell it to to render in right to left. But yeah, you don't have to do that for showcase. That's super cool. Cool. You ready, Thanks. David? Go ahead.